a hundred years of the Manx Grand Prix. And yes, indeed, we are back. And this view will need no introduction to those of you who are enthusiastic supporters of the Manx Grand Prix racing on the Isle of Man. I'm sure this magnificent MV Augusta three-cylinder machine will also be familiar to you. But unfortunately, I didn't make a note of the owner thereof, although I understand it has been raced and has been paraded around the circuit. But it was unclear what was intended for the bike on the morning when we arrived. <laughs> the first pit that we encountered as my wife and I moved round behind the grandstand was that operated by Michael Dunlop and his Team Classic Suzuki group and this is his 750 Suzuki seemingly in splendid isolation but rather busier as the week progressed This is the Mistral Racing Pit and bike number 24 is the 750 Kawasaki which will be campaigned by Ryan Kringle in the Superbike class. Paul Jordan's bike, number 15, is visually identical. And the third bike in the trio of 750 Kawasaki's is Michael Sweeney's bike, number 17. We've now moved across the way to the Laylaw Racing Pit. Laylaw Racing tend to campaign the smaller machines and this number seven is Adam McLean's 250 Yamaha. And number two is Ian Locker's bike, which is a similar machine, the 250 Yamaha. And that's what stops it, we hope. And the third Yamaha in the pit is campaigned by Mike Brown, who also races in the TT, of course. He comes from Southern Ireland. And this is also Mike Brown's bike, albeit a senior machine, classic machine, the Norton Manx. Yeah. 
This senior Norton Manx is campaigned by Manxman Michael Evans from Sanson under the auspices of Kevin Flynn Racing. I feel the living crisis under this government now impacting not just on the day-to-day, week-to-week, where people are worried about, of course, this machine in the same pit is determined to hide its identity. Maybe that's what happens when you uh, take your clothes off. Meanwhile, in the background there, my wife Sandra engages one of the pit crew. Rob Hudson from Wigan campaigns this 500 Honda under the Ruthless Racing banner and they're not coy about announcing their name are they? Ruthless Racing alliteration personified Features large in the program this year, doesn't he? Yeah. 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 Greenall Racing have always got an impressive lineup of riders and machines. And the first bike we look at is Brian McCormack's big 750 Kawasaki, number seven. And next to it is another of Rob Hodson's machines, number nine, with the fairing removed. Also, the large Kawasaki. And the third machine that we haven't yet mentioned is bike number 14, which is Derek Shields Kawasaki. So there's a trio of 750 Kawasaki's. Greater interest, it seems, in Derek Shields' second mount, the 500 Honda, which is his classic senior mount. The logo on the tank there is the John Davis Motorsport logo. So clearly John has some involvement in the history of this particular machine. Models. Then it was still sore. We did host to go. No, we didn't. We came and did something. The carriage was going to crash anyway. It was and it was still a bit sore. The Alistair Cowan Racing Pit have made life easy for us by listing their riders. Davo Johnson from Adelaide, Craig Neve from Immingham and Chris Cook from Hoyk in Scotland. And the bike in view is Craig Neve's superbike, the big Kawasaki number 10.
That's been on 25 years. Do you say you're putting the kettle on and This is another substantial operation operated by Ashcourt Racing in conjunction with, with Honda Racing Corporation and these are the bikes of Manxman Nathan Harrison from Onken. They're 750 Hondas. They're both numbered the same. One is his T-bike and the other I guess is his race bike. And, and they tend to keep their the operations, their options open. These uh, number eight bikes, eight on a yellow background, are the senior bikes of Mark Colvin from Peel. The bike up on the stand is a KTM, which is an unusual bike to see on the Isle of Man. One normally spots those in MotoGP. We'll see how it goes. Team Winfield have another substantial pit facility this year and this is unmistakably the pattern number three of John McGuinness. Even my wife is interested in that. And number 18 is Sean Anderson's 500 pattern. They are Splendid machines. I think they're recreations of an original, but uh, they certainly show a clean pair of heels to many of the bikes in the field. Well, this is the 
old boy that must take responsibility for having filmed and made this little film. My wife was determined that my picture should yeah, appear, yeah. so there it is. We are outside is Dan riding both the of entrance of Dan <laughs> Sales Pit. Dan yeah, normally, or has line. been to date, oh, yeah, a sidecar yeah, passenger yeah. with Dave Molyneux, but he's also is that quite a, good a solo thing? rider of yeah. some consequence. That's a bike a which lad, is not like one of his machines for this event, that. but is needed for a subsequent event in North Wales, I think. But machine number eight is his 250 Honda. There it is on the stand. Loves this little bike. Yeah, yeah. Everybody likes that little bike. Yeah, I've told the owner of this little bike that we took it to skip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we didn't, we didn't come last year. We've uh, been most years since 98. You get under the thumb, Mark. She just wants to see me part. What once during the course? She's swimming for 20 hours on the plane, do it. That's true. Any attempt to describe what's happening as this little single cylinder classic machine is being run up would be superfluous. So I suggest you just listen to the racket or the music. This portion of the area behind the grandstand is given over mainly to people who reflect the old amateur status of the Manx Grand Prix as it was originally conceived. And this junior bike, number 44, a 650 Kawasaki, is campaigned by Salvatore Salustro. I hope I have his name correctly. Less of a problem with Dave Madsen Mickle's name. Dave is a Manx man whose claim to fame is the largest number of starts racing on the Isle of Man. And this is his 750 Honda for this year's event. Another Islander campaigns this 600 Yamaha in the senior race, Ryan Whitehall from the Isle of Wight. No doubt from the roundel on Radley Hughes' tent. Radley is from Doncaster. He is a member of the RAF, campaigning his 750 Kawasaki. So which race are you in? Uh, the junior. Junior? Yeah. Oh, good. And that's your running number for And you. this is yeah, Kevin yeah. Baker, who campaigns a 650 Kawasaki in the junior race 
and he comes from How Southern Ireland. Five? Is that one not and running? in a moment or two, you'll see he has a chat with Sandra to that effect. Splendid lad, and the bread and butter of the Manx oh, Grand Prix. Give me that as a spare bike. Oh, I see. That's his, that's his number at home. So, but yeah. uh, that's just kind of. Hopefully, I don't need anything off it, but just in case it's there. <laughs> so, where do you come from? Uh, Southern Ireland. Oh, ah, right. Yeah, yeah. He's been racing for. It's a good few years. Um, my first year at the element, so. This is your first year? Yeah, I'm a new, newcomer, yeah. Yeah. What racing have you done before? Uh, I do all the Irish roads, and yeah. all the short circuits at home, yeah. a lot of them in the UK and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, well I tried to come here. Yeah. So you're not uh, spon you're sponsored, are you? You're getting plenty of sponsors. Ah, there's a bit there, yeah. 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 Don't get it. No, no. Take out bank loans or something. Try and tell him you need a new car or something. No. And now we have another very keen local lad, Chris Moffat from Douglas, who campaigns a junior bike, a 650 Kawasaki, number 51, and a lightweight bike, number 56, which is also a smaller Kawasaki, a 400. And he too epitomizes the amateur status of the race. Yeah, but it's obviously put new stuff in. No, we haven't One of Chris's bikes was carrying a small sponsor's sticker from the Welbeck Hotel in Mona Drive in Douglas. A hotel, in fact, in which we were staying. The late Peter George was a keen sponsor of one or two riders in the Manx Grand Prix, and his son Michael has continued the tradition. Another feature of the Manx Grand Prix and its link with the local community. I wish I'd had one like that as a lad. Oh, lovely. Sam Mousley from Plymouth introduces himself in a fairly spectacular way. And there's his senior mount, the 600 Yamaha. You may have seen this young lady walking her dog when we were looking at Michael Dunlop's bike. But now we can see her team performing some fairly dramatic surgery on their bike in an outdoor workshop. I guess all went well in the end, but uh, it shows the conditions under which some of these enthusiastic smaller teams operate. Does that look level in the bike when you look at the whole bike? Is that, is that in the right position? You're not doing it for the money though. You're, otherwise you'd have got, <laughs> yeah, I'm doing it for the fame. <laughs> you'd have got out of it long since. Back again with Dave madsen Mictel, who told me age is just a number. I must remember that myself. We're now back at one of the major pits, which is doubling as a bookshop, really. It's Michael Rutter's pit. Michael is well supported by Bathams and North Country Brewery. And there's his bike in the foreground and his conveyance, a substantial Pantechnican 
over on the left. And there's some of his fundraising wares. We bought his books, there's two books. One, Life of a Racer, which is his own story. And one based on his father's career, his father Tony. And there's Michael's classic superbike, the 1100 Suzuki. And there's Michael with his Pantechnicon and his personalised registration plate. Time now for the serious business of the day, preparation for practice. We look first of all at uh, some of the bikes in the queue for scrutineering and then we move into Park Ferme. Number 22, the red and white bike, is Sam West's 750 Bimoto. And there we see Dave Madsen Mikdal's bike again, the Honda. And the yellow bike is number 42, Paul Cassidy's Suzuki. And bike number 20 is Andy Lovett's junior bike, the Kawasaki. This array of machines from VRS Racing I looked at several times during our stay and the first of these is number 11 Sam Johnson's 600 Honda. They're magnificent. This is Dean Harrison's classic Superbike 916 Ducati. The Alistair Cowan racing machines of Chris Cook number 5 Davo Johnson number one and Craig Neve number ten are all there in part ferme. The 600 Yamaha of Spaniard Victor Lopez number two. The classic superbike of Effie Noen from Anglesey 750 Kawasaki looking very smart. The self-proclaimed Cornish Stig Ross Orchard from Bude is a great supporter of the Manx and this is his senior Manx machine. Nobody forgets Michael de Coupil's 750 Suzuki Superbike. Mikal comes from Prague. Once again the trio of green all racing Kawasaki's. Michael Rutter will be on parade with his classic Superbike the 1100 Suzuki as will Michael Russell from Oxford on his classic Senior Manx. Well, at long last, the Tuesday practice session, which, as I think I've explained previously, I'm not allowed to film, but I am allowed to take photographs. So I've taken multiple photographs of each person starting. And the first of those is Michael Dunlop on his big Suzuki. I do hope that this format at least portrays some of the action. Next away is Michael Rutter on his even bigger Suzuki. And then Nathan Harrison from the Isle of Man, Onken, on his 750 Honda takes up the challenge. And this is number two, Dean Harrison, on his 916 Ducati Superbike. We looked at him in the paddock. And now the Australian Davo Johnson from Adelaide with his 750 Kawasaki. This is the first of the Green All Racing Kawasaki's ridden by David Shields. Next away, Julian Trummer from the Irish Republic gets away 
on his 750 Kawasaki. Craig Neve, number 10 from the Alistair Cowan team, gets away on his Kawasaki. Two more of the Greenall Racing team now, Rob Hobson and Brian McCormack, number seven, in tandem. And they're chased by number 15, Paul Jordan of the Mistral Racing Team on his 750 Kawasaki. Dominic Herbertson, number 13, gets his wheel off the ground. That's the first I've seen. This is number 5, James Hillier. And this is Mike Brown riding for the John Davis motorsport team. And then a rather longer look at Michael Dokupil from Prague on his 750 Suzuki. Another of the Mistral racing team, Michael Sweeney on his 750 Kawasaki. Number 17. Number 4, Jamie Williams from Douglas on his Honda is the first of the senior qualifiers. And he's followed by number 5, Chris Cook from Hoik on his 600 Kawasaki. And he's followed by number 11, Sam Johnson on the very smart VRS 600 Honda. Meanwhile, Spaniard Victor Lopez is putting his faith in a 600 Yamaha. Brighter colours on number 17, Sean Evans 600 Kawasaki. The first of the lightweights now, Ian Locker on the 250 Yamaha Lalo Racing Machine. Back to the seniors again now. This is Radley Hughes, the RAF man, number 16, on a 600 Kawasaki. Close behind him is Plymouthian Sam Morsley on his Yamaha, number 12. Number 9 is James Beverly from Carlisle on the same type of machine, Yamaha. Number 10 is John Robinson on a 600 Kawasaki. Another continental rider now, Maurizio Botalicio from Napoli on his 600 Honda. A Manx rider now, Mark Colvin from Peel on a 600 KTM. We looked at that in his pit. Next is Andrew Fisher from Thrapston on his R6 Yamaha. The next rider in view is Gaz Evans from Pontefract on his 600 Honda riding number 19. And this is number 7, Damien Horan from Athlone on his 600 Suzuki. A familiar Frenchman on an unfamiliar bike, Lancelot Unisart on his 600 Honda. Number 20 is Michael Rees from Aberdeer on his 600 Kawasaki. The first senior Manx Grand Prix triumph that we've seen, Jack Fowler, number 13, on his 675cc machine. Number one, Daniel Ingham, flying the flag on his 600 Yamaha. 
Back to the classic superbikes, Michael Evans from Santon on the Isle of Man on his 750 Suzuki. The second of the Laylaw Racing lightweights, Adam McLean from Tobra Mori on the 250 Yamaha. The contrast of Paul Williams on his classic superbike, number 25, the 750 Kawasaki. Chased by Anthony Redmond from Balaf on the Isle of Man with his 750 Suzuki, number 33. Number 24, Ryan Kringle from St. Mark's on the Isle of Man with his 750 Kawasaki. We finally get to see Sam West on his Bimota Superbike, number 22. The second Bimoto, ridden by Stefano Bonetti from Italy, number 23. Superbike number 28 is ridden by Michael Russell from Oxford, 750 Kawasaki. Jonathan Perry from Winsford gets away on his 750 Suzuki, number 32. A regular competitor, Alan Oversby, number 38 from Bolton, Le Sands, on a 750 Suzuki. Superbike number 37 is ridden by the Frenchman, Amalric Blanc, 750 Kawasaki. Kawasaki Superbike number 29 is ridden by Frenchman Timothy Mono. The 600 Suzuki Senior Manx Machine is ridden by Emmett Burke. And he's followed by a newcomer, Marcus Simpson from Douglas on the Isle of Man on his 600 Yamaha. And this is another Douglas newcomer, David Rigby, number 54, on his 600 Kawasaki. A rather hesitant newcomer, Joe Yeardsley from Port Erin on the Isle of Man on his 600 Yamaha. Familiar graphics on Superbike number 21, written by Barry Ferber, the 750 Suzuki. And this is Lewis Arrowsmith from Preston on his 600 Yamaha senior machine. Another senior newcomer, Ryan Whitehall, number 53 from the Isle of Wight on a 600 Yamaha. And this is number 36, Andy Lovett, on his senior 600 Honda. Andy comes from Preston. Senior rider, Jim Barnett from Stafford, on his 600 Suzuki, number 27. Next up is Dennis Booth from Balamina, on his 600 Kawasaki, rider number 21. I shouldn't think Manxman Dave Madsen Migdal needed any practice. Anyway, here he is on his Honda Superbike. And this is the senior machine of Lewis O'Regan from Didcot, 675 MV Augusta. Frenchman Jan Gali, number 33 on his 600 Honda, gets his bike off the line. Rider number 34 is Michael Gillen from the Irish Republic on his 600 Yamaha. Senior rider number 29, Michael Mace from Loughborough on his 600 Honda. Senior bike number 28 is ridden by Liam Chalk from the Irish Republic, 600 Kawasaki. Our next senior competitor is Justin Collins from Newport, rider number 32, on his Yamaha. Senior rider number 39, Andy McAllister from Bangor, has chosen a 600 Suzuki. And the uh, Mark Parrott racing competitor, Tom Snow from Guildford, has chosen a 600 Yamaha. Number 40 is Paul Marley from Scarborough on his 600 Kawasaki. Stuart McCann from 
Lisbon in Northern Ireland is riding a 675 Triumph. We've not seen very many of those. Another chance to have a look at the Cornish Stig, Ross Orchard from Bude on his 600 Yamaha. I love the graphics. A rider from Norway now, Eric Kuss from Vestby in Norway on a 600 Yamaha. I think bike number 49 is a substitute in the programme, one of the VRS machines. And next, Tom Whedon gets underway on his 750 Suzuki. Next is Paul Cassidy from Castletown on the Isle of Man on his classic superbike number 42. Number 48, Reese Hardesty from Abergavenny launches his 750 Suzuki in the direction of Bray Hill. This is number 41, Adam Bohr from Minnesota in the USA on the VRS Honda. Senior machine number 43 is Michael Garn from Northern Ireland on his 600 Yamaha. And he's followed by number 59, Graham McAleese, also from Northern Ireland on his 600 Yamaha. This is number 51, Stephen Tobin from the Irish Republic, Kinsale, on his 600 Kawasaki. Senior rider number 57 is Cyril Lecoque, also from the Irish Republic, on his Honda. Next we see Superbike number 44, David Brook from Halifax, on his 750 Suzuki. Time is pressing now, and Anthony O'Carroll and Julien Cregnio leave two abreast on their 600 Kawasaki's. The rider on the right, number 46, is Mark Jackson from Sheffield. The newcomer on the left is Daryl Anderson, number 60, on his Kawasaki, and Colin Croft on his Suzuki, number 42, on the right. Mark Herbertson, number 51, on his 750 Kawasaki, and Ian Armstrong on his Suzuki. And unfortunately, Mark Herbertson appears to have stalled. Frenchman Eddie Fair on the left, number 50, and on the right, Spaniard Victor Ortego, number 45. The senior rider on the left is Darag Trapp, number 58, on his Kawasaki, and Dave Rigby, number 54, on the right. The rider on the left is Dermot Cleary, number 62, senior rider, and the number 62 on the right I can't identify but he appears not to get away. To conclude this element of the practice, the newcomer on the left is number 61, senior on his Yamaha, Andreas Jochum, and on the right we have Hefin Owen on his classic superbike, Kawasaki. Well, we can slow down now and look at a few of the personalities in the Park Fermi. We start our visit with a shot of Alan Oversby's half-litre Honda and his new mechanic this year. Sean Anderson is entered on the 500 pattern. And there's a trio of old heads with John Davies' mechanic joining in. Bless them. Maria Costello, MBE, looking suitably pensive. As is multiple TT winner, John McGuinness. John appears to have cheered up because his wife, Becky, has joined in. <laughs> it's 
This is Dominic Herbertson's 500 Yamaha. He's riding this year for the Davis Motorsport team. And the very experienced Alan Oversby chats to John during the build-up. The final moments of preparation and contemplation as the start of practice is a few moments away. Each to his own thoughts. Sean Anderson and John on the two patterns exchange glances as they move towards the starter. This is Derek Shields on the Senior Classic 500 Honda and the first of the junior bikes, Maurizio Botalico on the 650 Peyton and the junior Aprilia in the hands of Irishman Aino Siochru. I'm sure he will forgive my mispronunciation. Alex Sinclair adds to the variety with his 660 Junior Aprilia. Dan Ingram's choice of machine is the same. Manxman Mark Colvin carries the number one plate on his Kawasaki. Colin Stockdale, number 30, lines up on his Senior Classic machine. The intense stare of Michael de Kupil from Prague on his 250 Yamaha. Colin Croft on his junior 650 Kawasaki, number 39. Lightweight Yamaha, number 26, in the hands of Simon Hunt. Rod Hodson of Ruthless Racing on his 500 Honda. This is Paul Cassidy on his lightweight Kawasaki in a tribute to Steve Hislop. Manxman Michael Evans on his 500 Senior Classic Norton. Newcomer Brendan Ryan from the Irish Republic on his lightweight Honda. Adrian Scaife on his lightweight 250 Honda. Connor Wade from Hitchin on his lightweight 400 Honda. And Michael Mace on his junior bike number 22 from Loughborough, a 650 Kawasaki, concludes the practice. Rest in peace, Ian, who was killed at Wren Cullen during the evening's practice. I hope that you have enjoyed this particular film and will enjoy the subsequent films of our visit to this year's Centenary Manx Grand Prix.